Hey guys, it's Lori. That's Brendan over there with his two friends in that white truck, if you can see it. And they're going to Cedar Point today. Yeah, that sounds like a good time. I hope they have a lot of fun. Okay, so today, what do we got going on? Today, uh, the index cards are in full force. I've got lots of them. <laughs> so I have a busy day full of shopping and I'm gonna take you guys along with me. stop is going to be the Humane Society to drop off a whole bunch of blankets for the animals and I already did that once but that was at a different Humane Society so this time I'm going to a different county I'm going to be going right through it anyway so I might as well stop by and just drop some off to them and I actually think they're more in need than the other one anyway so they're going to get lots and lots of blankets all day we're going to go to all day I'm going to show what I got there Costco and I do have my insulated bags with ice packs in them in tow they are in the back and i have the insulated bag full of ice packs folded over and stuffed inside another insulated bag so those ice packs should be frozen solid all day long all right so let's get a move on it i'm gonna go to costco last because they're not even open yet so yeah and i decided to do hair and makeup today haven't done that in a while so i thought why not then I get out here and I feel like I have something in my eye. It's like, I couldn't get it out. I'm like, well, I'm gonna ruin my makeup. I had to go back in the house, get my magnifying mirror. I'm so glad I did because I got it. It was just a little tiniest, fine little, probably cat hair. Imagine that. We have three cats if you don't know. But yeah, it was just like tangled up in my eyelashes. It's like, that would have been there all day long. So, so happy I got that. Oh, and I did put in another Walmart order. It's just small, but I'm gonna pick that up on the way home from Costco. So I hope I don't forget. It is on my card, but that doesn't mean anything. Not necessarily, but the only reason I did that, I just picked up a Walmart order yesterday, but I didn't realize that I'm almost completely out of Coke Zero. And since Brendan's here now, he does drink that occasionally. So I wanna make sure I don't run out of that because that is my, my guilty pleasure, if you wanna say, I guess. I do like that. And that's really the only pop I drink or soda whatever you want to call it but anyway I want to make sure we don't run out of that and my B12 I've been out of for three or four days now so I wanted to get that and I can't remember what else I got I know I got something else because I wanted it to be a $35 order I guess I'll find out when I get there won't I <laughs> totally forgot to tell you what was going on with the flex so if you don't know um, I'm driving my truck right now because my flex is in the shop getting repaired it's at the Ford dealership they gave us a call the other day, called John at work and told him the bad news. Oh my God. It's gonna cost a small fortune after all. Yeah. Last I knew the tow, oh my gosh, look at that sun. Hold on. Are you ready for this? 4,100 and some odd dollars. Yeah. And it might be more than that because I don't recall if John told him to go ahead and fix this and that while you're at it. There's some other things, a couple other little things that need to fix too. If you want to know what needs fixed, you know what? I'm just going to put it in the description box down below. So just look down there because I don't recall off the top of my head. And if somebody asks me in the comments, I don't want to have to figure it out every time. <laughs> I just pulled into the Humane Society here and it says they're closed on the door. I'm like, crap, I got all this stuff back here for them too. But if I look closer, it says they open at noon. So I can wait a few minutes. I was in Aldi a while. So anyway, yeah, I'll wait a few minutes till they open. While I'm waiting for them to open, I thought I'd just walk around outside and it says they're having a calendar contest featuring your pet. I might have to check online about that. Winston would be cute on a calendar, wouldn't he? I think so. <laughs> look at that big empty back seat back there. Get a good look at it now because it's not gonna be empty pretty shortly, but they don't take sheets in there. I had a lot of sheets in there, but they kept them and they said that they would go ahead and put them back since there's so many, they would donate them to the dog shelter. So, okay. I don't know why they don't take them here. They said they only use them for dogs. Well, they have dogs here. I'm pretty sure, don't they? <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure they have dogs here. Okay, anyways. All right, I am finished at Aldi. So here is my receipt and my total is 
um right here wait where is it $86.66 so let's see what $86.66 bought we've got cookies we have two packages of these fudge striped cookies at $1.65 a piece and we also have some of the mint striped fudge cookies for $1.65 $5.29 so we got the peanut butter filled pretzels we have some tortilla chips for $1.79 just regular white round tortilla chips two bags of those and some medium chunky salsa to go along with those and the salsa was a dollar 95 yeah dollar 95 for that did i say dollar 79 for the tortilla chips sweet edition sucralose four dollars 65 cents for that and if you want a paper plate to eat your chips and salsa on <laughs> 2.99 for a pack of 50 paper plates and we have some tortilla shells here gonna plan on having a mexican night coming up dollar 59 for 10 flour tortilla shells now if you want the low carb shells like i do you're gonna pay more you're gonna pay for it three dollars 25 cents and there's only eight in this package so that's crazy that's a crazy difference it makes me want to just say screw it and just have the regular ones you know okay whatever two dollars 99 cents for a bag of the mexican style shredded cheese that's a 12 ounce bag and i got two of those we got some two packages of cream cheese at a dollar 39 a piece all of these black cheeses are eight ounce and they were a dollar 99 each and we got some a variety of um flavors <laughs> a variety of styles here we got sharp cheddar monterey jack mild cheddar colby and swiss we also grabbed for 379 a big package of the bun length wieners 24 in there calzone for hayden buffalo chicken two dollars 49 cents and a chocolate bar for me actually there's five little chocolate bars in there dollar 99 435 for the heavy cream and i got two of those this time because they're dated out far enough a bag of red potatoes for 3.99 and we grabbed two refried beans at 92 cents a piece 97 cents for onion powder which i'm completely out of 98 cents for the crushed tomatoes and i got two cans of those just to have on hand and four cans of the chili beans at 76 cents a piece what else there's a little bit more we have lots of bread I got three packages of hamburger buns, two packages of hot dog buns. Those were all 99 cents. Uh, honey wheat bread for $1.19 and a regular white bread for 99 cents as well. That's it for Aldi. I just finished up in Costco and oh my goodness, Costco was a workout. It was really a workout. First you have to put everything in the cart. Then you have to lift it again to put it all up on the belt when you pay. Then you have to lift it again to put it all in your vehicle. And I might have to lift it again when I take it all in the house. Then you gotta put it away. This is a workout. <laughs> okay, now I just checked in at Walmart. So now I'm going there for my little order. Thank goodness it's little cause I don't have a whole lot of room right now. So I didn't give you my total. So I thought I should do that real quick. So I don't have to say it at home. Of course, John a lot of times does at least listen to my videos while he's getting ready for work in the morning. So just know right now, honey, all of this money is money that I've earned. I'm not taking any of this out of the bill money. So <laughs> just so you know, my total today at Costco was $567 and two cents. Yikes. And yes, the hair has gone up. I couldn't take it anymore. So. All right, last stop. And I've blown through all of my index cards. I got everything done. I got, I think I got everything that I wanted, everything that was on my list, except for tomato soup at Aldi. They didn't have any tomato soup. They did, that, but they only had Campbell's, and I wanted the Aldi brand because it's so inexpensive, but that's okay. I'll get it some other time. We're not out. I just wanted to have it to restock my pantry with it. It looks like I'm going to beat John home by about 15 minutes, probably, so dang. <laughs> I was hoping that he would be home when I got home, or at least like get home real close to the same time so he can help me with all this stuff. Aiden will be there, but... Chase and Brendan are going to be there. Chase has been working overtime this week. Brendan's at Cedar Point. Man, I might have to find something to do for a few minutes. <laughs> and it looks like this is me. I hope you can fit it in here. Hi. Hi, Lori. Lori? Right back there. In the back seat, yeah. Okay. I've been to Costco, so wherever you can stuff it. Okay. <laughs> You're all set. Thank you.
Okay, let's just do this Walmart thing now so I don't have to mess around with that when I get home. I got six packs of Coke Zero and there's a couple more down here on the floor. I got I got three of these. Um, Hershey's, Hershey's, um, yeah, chocolate caramel. I'm trying to think what it was exactly. International Delight, coffee creamer. This stuff is amazing, I love it. And it's kind of hard to find sometimes. But anyway, we got uh, B12. This is my sublingual B12 that I take every morning. And this stuff's like eight bucks. So hopefully it's not interfering with the audio too much because there is a guy behind me weed whacking. But there's Walmart. Hey, are we ready to do this haul? John came home, started helping me carry stuff in and said, oh my gosh, he said, it looks like a grocery store blew up in here. So let's go through and see what all we have and get some prices. Fonza pasta. I love this stuff. This is really good. John likes it too. And it's $8.69 for five bags of the rotini, which is the perfect size for a meal and leftovers for the next day. Ritz crackers, $8.99 for 18 tubes of Ritz crackers. John's favorite olive garden dressing, $7.99 for two 28 ounce bottles of that. We've got a 10 pound bag of Pioneer sugar for $4.99. I don't buy this very often at all, but we, the kids have started having Kool-Aid, so I'm going through the sugar. Yeah, I know. But anyway, Mott's Fruit Snacks, 90 fruit snacks for $11.79. We've got the bacon crumbles back here, 1.25 pound bag for $8.99, and I did get two of those. I'm going to make some burgers, and Chase actually likes those on his burgers. So I think he made Hayden one like that, and he liked it. So if they want to do that, that's fine. But I haven't been going to Costco's often, so we've been running out of the bacon crumbles. Ten forty nine for 12 cans of the Del Monte corn. I'm not sure if that's the best deal ever, but it is Del Monte, so yeah. They don't have the Kirkland stuff anymore, just the... Um, just the Del Monte, same with the green beans. It's just the Del Monte, they don't have the Kirkland anymore. 10.69 for that. 10.49 for the corn, but it was 10.69 for the green beans. I also grabbed some of this Kirkland, um, the dishwasher tab thingies. 10.69 for 115, that's a really good deal and these are perfectly good. Now we're gonna get into some of the cold stuff. I have butter four pounds of butter for $13.79. We got fish sticks, the ultimate fish stick. These are actually really good fish sticks and they are the wild caught Alaskan Pollock and it's they're really good. They're not your typical fish sticks. They're definitely not Mrs. Paul's. <laughs> 60 fish sticks, it says it's a four pound bag, but this is something you could make for a family meal and it would be perfectly good to do that. Okay, $10.99 with $2.80 off this time. So it was eight. Can I do math? Can I read my writing? It was $8.19 for these craft singles. And it is, ooh, I almost dropped it. Okay, 96 slices. So it's a four pound box of craft singles. We go through a lot of these. I also grabbed a box of these hard boiled eggs. This is definitely not the best deal, but I'm totally going for convenience here. $13.99 for 16 two packs. That's the convenience part. They're packaged in individual packages of two eggs per package. So they're pre hard boiled. I could easily hard boil my own eggs, but like I said, this is pure convenience right here. Hayden will take these in his lunches. And I know Brendan will take these too. John will probably even throw these in his lunches one, once in a while. So. These will definitely be a nice thing to have for that price. Is it worth the convenience? I don't know, we'll have to see. We'll see how it goes. And we have some string cheese, 60 string cheese in here for $13.89. And over here we have the meat. I got two of the great big packages of ground beef. This is about five and a half pounds a piece and $22.10 for this one. And this one was $22.66, it's $3.99 a pound. So I think that's pretty good. We are gonna have burgers tonight. I'm gonna to keep some of it out for meatloaf. I'm probably gonna make it into the meatloaf mixture and put it in the freezer that way. And the rest of it will get put into smaller packages for the freezer. Same with this. This is gonna go into smaller packages. Pork chops, this was a wonderful price. $2.69 a pound, $22.65 for all these boneless pork chops. I counted them, there's 38 pork chops here. So, yes, thin sliced 
chicken breast. I love the Kirkland chicken breast. Hardly any fat at all on it, and I really don't like chicken fat. $39.99 for this, 10 pound bag. Bacon, we got the four pounds of bacon for $18.99. Love Kirkland bacon. We'll talk about this Old Spice in a minute. We got a big package of 72 Eggo waffles. Regular price $10.99, but it was $3.30 off, so $7.69 for 72 waffles and their Eggos. I think that's an excellent price. The kids have been eating these lately, so I just went ahead and got the big one. The Old Spice, this was actually uh, on my porch when I got home today, and actually that's a lie, somebody had brought it in. But <laughs> anyway, this is an Amazon um, subscribe and save thing, a four pack of these. Can't remember the exact price. $11.99 for this big package of 24 Kirkland sport drinks, just like um, Gatorade. They're the 20 ounce bottles, assorted flavors. That's an excellent price, especially when Chase takes these to work with him every day. Okay, over here we have a big variety pack of Sun Chips. This was $18.49 for 30 bags of these. These are gonna be for packing lunches. And same with this, it's gonna be for packing lunches. This was regular price, $19.89, $5 off. So this was only $14.89 for 54 bags of this. Different Frito-Lay chips, all kinds of different ones. So that'll be a nice thing for lunches. Over here we have K-Cups Summit Roast. This is pretty good. This is pretty good coffee. 120 K-Cups here. Regular price $36.99. It was $6 off, so $30.99. So that equals out to be about 25 cents a cup. That's a really good price. I got some of this Folgers Classic Roast. They have not had this in a while. So I grabbed it up $12.49 for this big can. And it is a two pounds, 11 and a half ounces. So that's a nice big can of coffee for $12.49. $6.89 for the big coffee mates. I got two of those. There's another one sitting behind it. These used to be $5.99, but like everything else, it's gone up in price. And the big pack of 12 rolls of paper towels. There's 160 sheets per roll. These are nice big rolls of paper towels and they're good quality. $18.79 for these. And our last roll is actually hanging up right now and I use them for work too, so. There's those. I almost forgot these Ziploc bags. 152 gallon size freezer Ziploc bags. $16.49 regular price, $3.50 off. It was only $12.99 for all of these freezer bags. I was starting to put things away and I'm thinking, where are my bags? I, I, I want my bags. So they were still in the back of the truck. There you go. So with my total, this does not look like over $500 worth of stuff does it. That's because it isn't. I actually also renewed my membership and I have the executive for $120 and I honestly meant to tell them I was gonna go back down to the gold for $60 and I totally forgot. So I think next time I go, I'm gonna go ahead and downgrade so I'll get a little bit of money back. And this is everything. And if you include the Walmart, so the Walmart stuff was $37.24 and the Amazon, this, okay, I actually wrote that price down. It was $15.94 for that, for four of those Old Spice, which is actually a pretty good price. This is the um, 18 ounce bottles. So that'll last us a while. So if you total up Costco, Aldi, Walmart, and Amazon, total, grand total, you ready for this? $706.86, this better last a while. This better last a long time. 